Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the video film of Bonas Children's Fair Festival in the year of our Lord, 2010. A film that will capture for all time the grandeur and majesty of what is undoubtedly the best and biggest children's day in the entire length and breadth of the United Kingdom. Bonas is its people and its people are Bonas. So said an old friend of mine some time ago and his words are as relevant today as they were all these years ago. What he was really saying was that Bonas had a community spirit that was epitomised in the continuity of the fair. And this film will, in its own way, capture that spirit which is the envy of many other towns in Scotland, as is indeed the ingenuity, the inventiveness, the imagination, the enthusiasm and the sense of camaraderie of our townspeople. When it comes to producing the wonderful house frontages and arches that are also the envy of other towns who celebrate children's days throughout Scotland. This film will also show that traditions die hard in this lovely old town of ours. For example, we go round the arches and the fairine, not only to gasp in admiration at some of the constructions, but invariably to meet friends whom we probably haven't seen since last year. And the sole topic of conversation? The weather. For the morn is the fair. Traditions, traditions. We follow our bands and this year there are ten. And when we awaken on the fair morning and we hear the faraway strains of Morag's Fairy Glen or the March of the Cameron Men, those of us who have been brought up with the fair in our blood experience an emotion that is impossible to describe or deny. Traditions, traditions. How about as a child welcoming the arrival of the shows? How about, well, I could go on, but the list is endless. And it is these fair traditions that brings out the best in our townspeople. As one little boy said when asked, what is happiness? He replied, the fair day. It's just like Christmas, only better. It's the best day of the year. Now this year has seen the start of hopefully yet another tradition. That of competing, if you are in the senior classes of the six primary schools, for the Helm Ward Brickby Memorial Trophy. This year saw the competition's inauguration in the form of an essay entitled Our Fair and What It Means to Me. There was a tremendous response, 123 entries, and the eventual winner was a little girl called Erin McBride from Deanburn. Second was Robin Carlin from St Mary's, and third was Emma Brew from Bonnes Public. The sentiments expressed by all contestants were very genuine, and here are but a few excerpts from these entries. At the end of the day, we all know that without the fair, Bonas just wouldn't be the same at all. From a little girl called Julia. I'm very proud of the fact that the cushion the Queen's crowd sits on was made by my great-grandfather, a little boy called Mason. So what does Bonas Fair mean to me? It means that Bonas is coming together, having fun, and remembering it all began with the day of freedom for the miners so many years ago, from a little girl called Ellis. I love walking around in the procession and hearing people saying, oh, look at her, she's bra. That's from a little girl called Megan. The best thing about the fair is that you will always remember the day and you can share your thoughts with other people so they can have a beautiful memory as well. From a little girl called Rachel. 
And I think this poem from one of the contestants really sums up the sentiments of all Bonessians. Take sweet little children, all hand in hand, a sparkle of sunshine, the sound of a band. Take long ago traditions from long ago days, a crowning procession and of course, new fair clays. Take hundreds of people, proud of where they belong, and mix it together with a special fair song. Then, abracadabra, to it none can compare. Could it be magic? You bet, it's the fair. That's from a little girl called Rebecca. Now I think that that little poem is just wonderful and that these few extracts from the 123 entries, all of which echo similar sentiments and never once using the word boring, show that our young people know the value of the fair and that its future is in safe hands. But this is 2010. This is the year when Miss Christine McCormack will crown young Georgia Somerville, democratically chosen by her classmates at Keneal to be Queen. This is the year when the children of Bowness and Blackness will present for her newly crowned Majesty's pleasure delectable items such as Vive la France, Bollywood, Final Countdown, Charleston Champions, Thriller and HMS Deanburn. The year of little fairies such as Natalie Simpson and Ellen Frey, of flower girls like Tia McCaskill and Nicole McCarmike, and of presentees like Grant Watson and twins Nathan and Olivia Calder. Well, you can't tell one without the other, can you? Ladies and gentlemen, all the good things in life that our children bring to us are reflected in this, the best day of the year. A day that all the children taking part will remember for the rest of their lives with happiness. A day that in the future they will talk about as being part of this wonderful tradition that we know simply as our fair. So, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy the wonderful spectacle that is Bonus Children's Fair Festival 2010. It is, after all, simply the best.
Okay, everybody, look right here for me. Fantastic.
know that you need your must. Please wish Russell Stilton a happy 70th birthday to the only paid with his children. This is it is. Russell was a public school president in 1946, the first year after the war. He was a little boy blue and was accompanied that day by Annette Lerman, who was very, very quite contrary. Well, since that particular day, Russell and Annette have now been married for 47 years. So, to Russell, a very happy birthday to all the family. I think that's a lovely story. Now we're going to the arena, the guides and guiders, that's what it says here. The bad get bad. I had them earlier this morning. They were uh, outside 14 days old and they woke me up. Good morning, bad get bad. Thank you. 
known as the Jerusalem Dictates. Beautiful flowers reflecting the official colour of the school. For example, blue for the Greens, yellow for St. Mary's. Accompanying the flower girls is a certain teacher from Tineo who is retiring this year. After 40 years wonderful service, Miss Duncan, you are indeed a treasure and you miss good luck with love from everyone. Miss Duncan, to your school. his normal place on the platform. A special chair, ladies and gentlemen, hip hip. That's his present for you, Richie. A real little boy. And of course, into the arena, our yeoman of the guard, you and Archibald and Lewis Wright. Smart, aren't they? Depicting the French uniform because this year the motif from the new school is Viva la France. <laughs> and it gets warmer by the minute. Now another departure from normality. We don't have Maids, as we call them, matrons of honor. Instead, we have a guard of honor. Eight little boys from Tineo, Carl Connolly, Ryan Snedden, Lewis McPherson, Jack Martin, Mark Forrest, Connor Bain, Michael Kennedy, and Jonathan Morgan. And they are very smart indeed. Now they're carrying the French flag, as you can see. Instead of the main characters coming through bars, they will be coming through raised French flags. Another idea, an ideal for the shortage of girls in the new school. And normally I would say approaching the, but I won't, approaching the flags. Our Lords in Waiting, Lee Williamson, and our Chief Lord, Rhys Flynn. Yeah. And children, when you are mounting these steps today, and I'll repeat this repeatedly, there's a dress right here. Watch these steps. They're very dangerous. And the last thing that we want is anybody to go down these steps. So be very careful when you're coming up and down. And that applies to all the people who are going to be presented to the Queen as well. And coming through the flags, the oh, heralds. Cameron Anderson, who will be speaking at the Douglas Park, and Scott Keating, who will be speaking here at the Bleed Park. Quite a distance away is our sword bearer, Aidan McCarthy. Pushing me through, lads. Mm -hmm. 
just a draw of these French uniforms. And look at these hats. A sword bearer, ladies and gentlemen, Ed McClucky. Talk with an overlay of 
plank, figured net, full skirt, matching bolero, accessories to match, a picture indeed. A lovely creation, a lovely picture, a lovely young girl, who has been a credit to Bones, her parents, and Dean Brown School. Be very careful with these steps, Anna. And a big thank you for being the successful queen that you undoubtedly have been. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen China Ben. Hip, hip. And immediately behind Queen China, a message from Kelly. Her name is Kelly Ivanov. And I've got a message for you from your granny and granddad, Ivanov. They're very proud of you, especially on this memorable day with the best granddaughter that anyone could possibly wish to have. And they'll hope you have a wonderful day of that, Kelly, I am sure. Wearing a very attractive, deep, strawberry pink dress and baby pink raw and fine accessories. With a full skirt and a beautiful combination of colours is a dress for a young girl who not only plays a very important role in the going ceremony but a very busy one as well. Certainly a dress of distinction. Welcome, Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, three cheers. Hip, hip. This is best of you, darling. The pierce the resistance. Little lady herself. Her queen. Her queen elect. Georgia Summer. As a matter of fact, beneath that cloak, and I say this almost every year, beneath that cloak, there is a dress that any little girl would die for. It is absolutely indescribably beautiful. So I won't attempt it. But can I tell you, it's in white pupil silk. Overlaid with sparkling organza. The dress is an absolute stunner. And those of us who will be attending the dinner this evening in honor of the Queen, by that time she will be Queen, Queen Georgia, those of us will be given the opportunity to really see what is a magnificent creation. Normally I would say, and she's accompanied by our two little pace boys, but this year, because of Rich's uh, calamity, that's the best way to describe it, there's only one little pace boy carrying her boat. And his name is Stephen Scotland. There we are. She's paused for the fanfare.
What is Richard doing? He's hopping. I think we should re rename that instead of red, white, and blue. We should name it red, white, and blue, and Stephen and Richie, because that is a very, very brave little boy sitting there. He hopped all the way across that stage. But don't forget, don't forget that Stephen has been left with the onerous task of carrying that cape up all these big steps by his little self. Incidentally, Richie, with the broken leg, is six today. Talk about break a leg. <laughs> Careful. Well done. Well done, Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once this uh, guard of honor mounts these steps, and take care, boys, just the same as anybody else. Take very good care. We will have the most wonderful day with the most wonderful spectacle. That is the photographer's dream. The retinue of Bowness Children's Fair Festival from Keneal School in the year of our Lord, 2010. Why, even I am wearing a yellow sweater today to mark the occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, hip hip! A uh, bigger one than that, to remember Richie. And the biggest one of all, hip hip! And now, children of all ages, and I mean all ages, from the time you can read to the time you can't read, let's everybody sing the Bonus National Anthem, led by a Cardin band conducted by my friend Ian Bolter, See, the summer sun is a gleaming in. Everybody sing two, three, four, five, six, seven. Smiles, symbol of festivity. Mirth and joy. Right in the platform, Jim and Jim Stewart, accompanied by Miss Christine McCormick. Are we ready for this? And again. Christine, the curtsy to the existing Queen Shanna. Christine is wearing a beautiful silk, black and gold dress with a matching bolero. A lovely gold hat. Christine, all the bonus wishes you good luck. Goods have donned. Flowers refreshed. Bright and silver. Can't hear you, hill and upland. Where the wind go back. Let's hear you then.
champion, Martin Thompson, who deliver the challenge. If anyone here shall deny the Queen's title to the throne, I am here, ready to defend it in single combat. Well done, Martin Thompson. I defy anybody to take up that challenge. Every word hears a bell. Well done. He bows to his queen and returns and he picks up that glove. Well done. A sword bearer, Aidan McClucky, presents a sword to her queen elect, Georgia. She touches the sword and he returns after another of a bow to his position. Well done, Aidan. Now, the moves. Rufargal takes Chief Lady William Kelly bouquet and Chief Lady and Kelly goes to her new, about to be crowned queen, curtsies very gracefully. That is a gorgeous dress, Kelly. Takes the queen's bouquet, careful on the steps. Curtsies again and returns to her position. Little ladies in waiting takes Queen Shanna's bouquet. Septa bearer Stuart Stevenson approaches Queen Shanna, bows, gives her the symbol of authority and returns to his position. Shanna very easily approaches the Queen-elect, transfers the symbol of authority. Remember these steps, curtsies, and returns to her position. Queen Shanna, ladies and gentlemen, has just performed the last official act of her lovely reign. For Queen Shanna, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a hearty, loud hip hip. Thank you, Shanna. Crown bearer Josh Cummings approaches lady who's about to crown the queen, Miss Christine McCormack. Lays the royal cushion at the feet of his queen-elect and returns to his position. Chief Lady and Wedding Kelly approaches queen-elect Georgia, assists her to kneel. And then removes Quite easily, thank you, removes the coronet, curtsies and returns to her position. Ms. McCormack approaches and crowns our queen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a new queen and her name is Queen Georgia. Ms. McCormack did say a few words, says where she is. I crown you Queen Georgia, may you have a long and happy reign. Well done. Well done. Chief Lady Kelly gives the coronet to Ms. McCormack. And then Kelly assists our newly crowned Queen Georgia to the throne and she curses and ladies and gentlemen for the first time as a queen sitting on her throne a big hip hip hooray for Queen Georgia Somerville. Hip hip!
And again, hip hip. And the biggest one of all, hip hip. And thank you, Mr. Coleman. Come better. He retrieves the cushion. Retrieves also the coronet from Miss McCormack and returns to his position. Well done, Josh. Chief Lady Kelly presents a bouquet to Miss McCormack. She curtsies and returns to her position. Well done. Thank you, Ms. McCormack. Chairman of Bonas Children's Fair Festival, Jim Stewart, approaches our newly crowned queen, bows, makes a presentation, not only on behalf of the Bonas Children's Fair Festival Committee, but also all of you, the townspeople of Bonas. He bows. And he speaks. He tries to speak. Morning, everyone. Happy Fair Day. I last stood on this stage 49 years ago. And although there have been some changes throughout the years, what doesn't change, and I can see it today, it doesn't change. The support for Bones Fair is absolutely fantastic. It's great to see such a large crowd and it's great for Keneal School and for Queen Georgia. Keneal have certainly added colour to the occasion today. I think the colours look absolutely magnificent. Georgia is the 20th Keneal School Queen and she was preceded by an excellent ambassador for our town, now ex-Queen Shanna Penman. Shanna, thanks for everything you've done this year or in the last year. I know you've enjoyed it and I hope that Georgia enjoys the coming year. One more thanks needs to be given and that's to the many people of the various committees who work away quietly throughout the year to make this day happen. And it makes sure that we, the people of Bonesse, have a great day at the end of June. And I know you will all have a great day because one thing we can do is celebrate. And we can celebrate the Fair Day in many ways. It's been taking place for more than 100 years. But on that note, have a great day. <clears throat> Thanks for coming. Well done, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let everybody sing Hail to our Queen. Your 
march. Where wild birds sing. We are romp. Proclamation will be read by Harold Scott Keating. Wait for the fanfare.
well done, Emma, and especially well done, Reese. You looked after you very well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a huge cheer for the Ducks from Boreas Academy, Junior Ducks, Laura Simpson, and Senior Ducks, Michael Preston. Incidentally, Lorn is the daughter of Queen in 1985, I believe, Annette Simpson. So, well done, Lorn, and well done, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, a big cheer for the cleverest boy and girl in the school. Hip, hip! And now we've got, for the first time ever, and I've been doing this for 35 years, a British, but not only British, European, but not only European, world champion, Billy Archibald, world champion, juvenile fight band drumming champion, well done Billy, an immaculate. And coming on now, now, Douglas, come on now. From Boris United's glorious season, in which they won the East of Scotland Super League and became champions for the first time for a good number of years, probably 30, 40 years, with that wonderful cup, wonderful trophy, a man called Douglas Snedden. Bows to the Queen, says a few words to someone, and very carefully himself walks down the stairs. Slight pause, ladies and gentlemen, what we call a technical hitch. Army cadets. Cadet Nicky Spears and Lance Corporal Vicky Patterson. From the Browries, Marissa Thompson and Barry Maudsley. Girls Football, the Fairs Cup. And all these first three cups were won by Dean Byrne. The Fairs Cup, won by Dean Byrne, pre represented by Haley Anderson. The Challenge Cup. Won by Dean Byrne, represented by Lindsay McGookie and Beth Russell. The girls' fair play cup, also won by Dean Byrne, Stephanie Somerville. Boys football, the fair's cup, won by Grange Primary School. Lewis Connolly and James Rintoul. And the challenge cup. Won by Grange Primary School. Represented by Ross Fraser and David Johnson. And the over 30s trophy. Won by Bonas Public School. Represented by, I think it's one of them, Lennon Down. Or Keen Bailey. Is that better? There are two names here. Right, all bow to your Queen, bow to your audience. Now, thank you, and off we go. Now on stage for the first presentation to a newly crowned Majesty Queen.